What's good, y'all? Welcome to episode two. Got my boy Tony out here. Yes, sir. If y'all know him on Instagram and TikTok and all that, we already know he's got bunnies for days. Uh, he's gonna be in the hot seat today. Got my boy Tay. You guys are already familiar in Q. And yeah, let's just get this thing going. Let's get into it, man. Feels like the sure. second time around somehow. Second time around, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Like natural. laughs> What's up, fellas, man? Shit. Chilling. Yeah, it was good. You know what I'm saying? How y'all day going today, man? It's been a long day yeah, for man, me. It's been a hectic Chilling. ass day, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, after it's hours. Time that, management here, man. Th that's an appropriate, you know, shirt right now. It feels yeah, like it. Hours, it feels yeah, like it, hours. but yeah. maybe it was the traffic it's getting uh, over here. 6.14 awesome. p.m. in Arizona, man. Episode yeah. two, you know. So. so, Tony, I appreciate you coming in on the Sorry, podcast today, there. man. Uh, you know, I feel like we've been following each other for a while, but this is the first time we meet. I've always been a fan of your content. Appreciate, um, you, appreciate you. It's very unique, and I feel like what I love about your page is you're constantly giving back, uh, you know, whether it's jump <laughs> programs and stuff to kids um, and seeing how they can elevate their game. Definitely. For sure. So uh, to kind of get it started off, uh, let's talk about even before all the content creation. So I know, you know, through mutual friends, Shout out to Drew Oconquo. Yes, sir. Uh, I know y'all ran track together, so you're a track star. So when did this uh, transition from track and, uh, to basketball happen? So basically it went basketball to track and then basketball. Oh, so people forget about the basketball <laughs> pre-track. So I played basketball in high school, varsity all four years, first team all conference, all that good stuff. But as we said, I'm like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, on a good day. And then I did uh, – Tracked my senior year of high school. Tried high jump. First day, I jumped like six foot, six two in socks. Damn. So I was like, Dang. Oh, I might be able to do something with this. I Dang. ended up being like. So you didn't even know you had bunnies like that? I knew I had bunnies, but I didn't know it was like that like elite in a sense. Okay. I was always like super athletic, like the, you know, the faster kid, really quick, stuff like that. I dunked when I was like 15, turning 16. It was around like Can't five, relate. four. You I can, can relate, <laughs> but it, my time was very short before, you know, these just yeah. bolts and nuts start flying out. <laughs> you said bolts and nuts. At this point, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, never like consistent or anything. So once I got to, well, let me finish with the high school stuff. Right. So I did track. I was like fifth in the state of California. Then I got to state and I know how to high jump on the biggest stage. But luckily I was still able to go to GCU and everything. And I was like, dang, I can go like JUCO, NAIA for basketball or go D1. <laughs> Like, everybody, you know, wants to do, like, every kid's dream is to go D1. So, I chose that route, went all in on that, and then. So, you did all that, and that wasn't even your first love. Your first love yeah, has always nah. been basketball. Yep, basketball has always been a first love, for sure. But then I felt, I like, I started to like track. Got into college, different atmosphere, for sure. It's more like a, like a you versus you thing. Like, you're just there pushing yourself. So, once I got into that, anything I do, I'm like. Head first. So I was like, I want to go to the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> Is cool. it really realistic? Five seven high jumper. You know, uh, three years in, two years in. No, but hey, I did what I could do. I got some. I think I got like first team all conference of high jump in the whack. A couple different accolades, and I ended up transferring. That fell through, and then now we're back here with basketball. Hold on, you said is that realistic? Can we talk? How? how what's your vertical? Uh, on a good day, 50, 51. Sheesh. So you think that to me, I'm like, damn, that's damn. 40 was like, but, top. But I'm like, realistic. you got 40. That's a hundred percent. Yeah. I, I feel like 51 is not realistic. Yeah, so NBA draft record. Right? Oh man. Yeah. Crazy. It's the flexibility thing, man. You know, being a hooper, we don't really stretch like, well, now I do, mm. but younger me, we don't really stretch like that. That high jump thing and the flexibility. So what's the secret? Key. What's the secret to like, the secret, the secret for me I feel like it differs from person to person, which I tell everybody. So, me, I've always been quick. I've always been, like, athletic. But I was always on the smaller side. I was more, it's like, 5'6", 130 when I graduated high school, like, 135. Now I'm around, like, 170, 175. So, for me, getting stronger, mm. having that muscle mass, and being able to, like, <clears throat> if I squat 450, me jumping with just my body weight at 170, 175 is going to be nothing. Dang. Whereas somebody that may be a little heavier... Dang. But needs to work on their like fast twitch muscles and getting mm -hmm. more athletic is gonna do a lot more plyos. So that's the difference What's I tell crazy everybody. To I mean, you guys tell me if your opinion is different. I feel like usually when people put on more weight, like more mass, their vertical usually yeah. isn't as high as it was <laughs> when they. So I feel like in that sense, 
you're like game changing everything. Yeah, I got <laughs> that insane. a lot. When I first started like putting on weight, like I said, I got to college, I was probably like 135, 140. Nah, you proceed, oh, proceed. Gotcha, Just gotcha. Move, your, move your mic down a little bit. Yeah, but you can pull it down to get out your face keep and a little rolling, closer. Man, man, keep it rolling. Yeah. You got you, got you. So, I kind of agree, but I not disagree. I have a different view. He came out at 135, right? So, you were, you know, speedy already. You had hops. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that it was like you were adding lean muscle over time. And I feel like... You're building a machine. I watched one of your YouTube videos. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> no, it was, I loved it. it. It was, I think it was titled something like Don't Forget About Core. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't and don't I'm like, yeah, don't sleep on core. Everyone go go check that out. Um, and I watch you start with the basics, like box jumps. And you get, I mean, when I say basics, it's still very challenging. Yeah. You know, and you build on that. And it's like, you are 175, but it's, uh, pause, it's like, shre it's lean. That's the machine. Yeah, you don't get 50 something inches at 175, no matter what your height is. Yeah. And you're not like, you know, ro like robot, half man, half, you know? So when he gained that weight, I think it was like he went in the lab. You know how people say, I'm going in the lab? And you see results. Yeah. So the secret. <laughs> Funny story is Drew's the reason I actually like my vertical, why well, I push myself so much. Because he was a high jumper. So yeah. I got the GCU. Uh, him and his brother both got jumps too. I think you met Mike, his older brother Mike Oconquo. He's one. Of, he's really good friends with Troy also. Like they grew up together. Drew's a younger brother. I might have met him. I think. I don't think you met Drew, but I think you met Mike before. Okay. Yeah, yeah me and Drew used to go <laughs> at it at practice every day. Like I was the freshman. Like I was super competitive. Like now nah, I want to beat everybody in there. Like I'm new. I'm you know being competitive. And Drew, if you know Drew, he's a very sarcastic. Like Bro, he, I see him trolling he's your face. Like a funny <laughs> like. But it's all like love. Like we're cool. Like that's my guy. Yeah, yeah, but he's right. very sarcastic, and it gets under your skin. So all summer, I'm working out, lifting. I'm in the gym every single day because he had the vert record at GCU. Oh, at the time, shoot, shoot. he jumped a 44 at max vert my freshman year. Damn, and I hit 42. So I was like, ah, hey, I definitely heard it from him. <laughs> and the record at GCU at the time, I believe, was 44, 45. So that whole next year, whole summer, I'm grinding just so I can come back and talk, talk mess. And we come back. So next year, we take the Berks uh, test. I hit a 46 max Berg. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know what oh, Drew, Drew hit that year. <laughs> but I finally got him. So we shout out Drew because he was my uh, motivation, motivation for sure that whole summer. summer. No, Drew, good people for sure. Definitely. But I always see him show your posts. Like, I, I, you know, the videos where you do what player does this yep. or whatever. And your impersonations. <laughs> And he'll throw like a totally off like he'll be doing Steph Curry. He'll say freaking uh, Matumbo. Yeah, Matumbo. <laughs> yeah, so that's that, Drew. For literally, you. just I completely <laughs> random way. Like that's that's Drew though. You know, you gotta appreciate him for <laughs> what he is. You know, but um, now leading into content creation. So what what was the first video that popped off where you're like, oh okay, I'm getting recognition from this now. It was actually a workout video during uh, COVID. Because I was one of those people that, like, I'm not downloading TikTok. Like, that's <laughs> it's not the app for me. I'm not about to be on there dancing. That's weird. Nah. <laughs> like, it's a kid's app. But it was COVID, and the lab was open. I don't know if y'all know the yeah. lab. Oh, oh yeah. There's on the lab and, like, Warner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the only place open that summer. So I ended up going there uh, and started hooping again. Because I told you, I love to hoop. But I was still training for track because I was trying to uh, transfer and everything like that. I'm there, ended up dunking. People were like, what's the workouts? What's the workout? So I'm like, all right, let me just make a, a quick little like workout video, workout vlog. I posted on TikTok, it hit like 1.5 million views. Damn. Jeez. Give like, the people well, what they want, man. Yeah, it was like one of my first videos. Was it first video you post? It was like probably one of my like three videos in. Damn. That's, that's pretty wild. Weird. That algorithm is wild, man. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that so, went crazy. So man. building off of that. Because uh, obviously, like, even when you start building your profile, you start getting a lot of followers and stuff like that. It's not enough to where that life becomes, like, full-time. Yeah. Would definitely. you say you've reached a point where that it's literally become full-time based off the gigs and stuff? You're booking, flying international, doing the dunk contest? Definitely. definitely so, definitely. doing that, was it a struggle to kind of figure out your life and career going in that direction, not knowing that you were going to blow up off of an app that you thought was for kids and wasn't even, uh, that you weren't even going to use it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, did you feel like you Clutch. needed to get help, ask friends that, you know, that 
also were influencers to see, you know, what measures and steps did they take? Did you hire an agent? Like, talk about that process. Honestly, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> I had a lot of time on my hands. It was COVID. <laughs> Uh, I just started posting, but when I really like started to grow on TikTok, what? Oh, was uh when I was in New York, when I transferred to Long Island University. Uh, I think I was around like twenty, thirty k on there. It wasn't full time. I was in school, so that was paying the bills, uh, as far as everything with the track scholarship. So I was like, well, I might as well take advantage of like everything I'm doing. So I started posting on there. I was on live like three, four hours a day, like I. I did not like the cold. I didn't like New York, so I didn't really have nothing else better to do. Making workout videos in my room. Like, if you watch some of the early YouTube videos, it's home workout videos in that dorm. That's cool. So just staying on top of that, and eventually it blew up. But I learned that TikTok is not going to pay the bills. Like, no matter how much you will, unless you have, like, a couple million. But you're going to have to do stuff outside of that. So, like, the park takeovers that people do, uh, different dunk contests, uh, different events, and trying to monetize that outside of that as well. <laughs> So when you're monetizing those events, is that something you're having to reach out to um, whether whoever the sponsor sponsors the event or do they just now because you've been recognized, they reach out to you and you negotiate a certain contract or how does that work? Uh, so it depends on the event. So different dunk contests, uh, working with different people, there is either appearance fees, which you'll typically like at the level I'm at now, I'm definitely trying to get an appearance fee everywhere I go because if I get hurt. Yeah. Win, lose, or draw, I'm just out of, I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, I can't right. worry, I can't yeah. do nothing, and now I'm hurt. So, appearance fees for sure. Or there'll be different contests where it's like um, just a big prize. And it's like, well, it's worth taking this risk to go in there and not, you know, have an appearance fee. But the connections you'll make and the prize you'll get is, is worth it. it. Yeah. And let's say it's like out of, out of town or outside of the U.S., are they paying for all that, even if it's just a big prize? Uh, yep, yep. Food, travel, everything, hotels always covered. I saw Tony. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead, Monte. I saw Tony um, go to France. Yes, I was just going to ask that. And one of my idols growing up, Kadura Zayani. Uh-oh. You've you seen that guy fly. I'm talking when YouTube was first coming out, I'd be on YouTube dunks, literally. First thing I'm looking up is dunks, and I used to see him twirling in the air and just take, yeah. I'm like, who is this dude? <laughs> what does he do? And he's huge on like his workouts and what he does with his body, you know, tearing his Achilles mm. to rehabbing at 40, what is he, 47, 48, He's and like dunking. Now. 40, and dunking again. Yeah, that's insane. So I seen Tony out there with some high flyers too, man. It was crazy. To have all those people out there. Nope. Damn. You gotta look that look that up on, on He's YouTube. He's actually too. one of the first people to like take a chance on me with dunk contests. I love it. Damn, that's crazy. Now, Inshallah, bro. Uh, there were some celebrities at that that Jordan event too, right? Because I believe I saw uh, I saw him Zion posted it because I was on IG and I was like I saw your post and then I saw Zion. I had to go back like hold on, they at the same event. <laughs> yeah, so like how was that man? Just like you know performing like Zion, like we know like he got dummy bounce. Yeah. Man, so honestly, it's just it's crazy like going to different events and seeing these people like watching me. Like I had a Jordan event in LA, CP3 and Trevor Ariza. Trevor Reeves' son's like, oh, I follow you on TikTok. And yeah. like, watching me dunk. Like, that's just crazy. That's, that's so Got a cool. picture with them. I met Luca and Zion in Paris. Super cool. Like, I don't know. Just people you never think you'd meet. Like, yeah. I never thought they'd be watching me. Yeah. I'm watching them on TV every day. You so. think you could uh, finish the dunk over Zion? <sighs> Funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. Nobody Take knows a break this. real quick. So, uh -oh. I was supposed to go over Zion at the dunk contest. I have some inside sources say that, like, they talked to his people and he was going to let me jump over him in the dunk contest. So that was my plan for the contest. So I get there. We come out, everything. We do a little intros. And uh, Tyler asked Luca if he can jump over him. So I'm like, all right, bet. I already planned on going to Zion. I wore his shoes that they gave me for the contest mm -hmm. just to promote him because the twos weren't out yet. So I'm like, all right, bet. I asked him because everybody else telling me it's cool. He's like, oh, I can't do it. I, I don't want to get hurt. I'm like, Dang. So, yeah, that messed up the whole game plan for the dunk contest. But it's all good. You know, it's all, it's all <laughs> yeah. good. You got the inside scoop right I here. I understand, yes. man. I mean, he is like 6'6". Six, six. However much he weigh, I don't think I'm really going to leave a dent yeah. or even a scratch yeah. on Zion. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's all like good. you're more at risk of getting hurt than he is. Facts. But, you know, it happens. It happens. But, uh, you would have dunked on him, though, right? <laughs> 
or over him. I don't want to say uh, on him over him for sure. On him, <laughs> ah, that's a big, that's a big dude. He's he's he hit me in the air. Dude. I'm probably flying back to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to see like y'all go at it throwing dunks because like yeah, I've seen definitely. like you get up and like we've I seen saw, uh, the inspired video with Jalen LeQ got bounced too. Jalen LeQ like, has bounced. Yeah. I did a dunk like, session what, six, with him. Four, six, you did what? I did a dunk session with Jalen LeQ actually oh, okay. when I started out too. And that Dang. was fun. That was it. Like what y'all what y'all bring out? Uh, he did a two foot dunk from the free throw line, just casually. Because all right, this is what happened. <laughs> this is what actually happened. So I we were hooping up there. <laughs> they were having like open runs and everything. So he came. Uh, one of the days. And the first day I saw him, I was like, yo, we should get like a dunk session in one day. Like next time you're up here. He's like, all right, bet. So he told me the next day he was coming. It was next time it was run. So I'm like, all right, I'm just make sure I'm there. So after everything, I'm like, yo, can we like get the little dunk session in? He's like, yeah. But he didn't think I was dunking. He thought I was asking him to dunk and me recording. Oh my God. <laughs> so he was like super confused after. And I was like, oh yeah, no, nah, I can dunk too. And then... <laughs> So imagine how, like, I get that response kind of, yeah, like, like, when I tell people, like, what I do and stuff. It's like, oh, is it a trampoline? Oh, is it, like, a mini court? Stuff like that. So, <laughs> it, you know, it didn't really phase me too much. But then, yeah, we got the dunk and everything. I mean, I think he respected the dunks a little bit. So. Yeah. Yeah, it was a fun time, though. Got the dunk with an NBA G League player. And that man has been going viral for a minute. So, it Damn. was a fun experience for sure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, So, like... Let's talk a little bit about, like, the uh, park takeovers. Like, you've been oh, able yeah. to work with a couple of the other guys just, like, in content creation. Like, mm -hmm. uh, have you been able to collab a little bit? The park takeovers. Let me see. When's I can't even tell you the last one I did because I can tell you the first one I did. I went with uh, Cam Wilder. Uh, yeah. One foot guy. Between him and Joe Wise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, That's not me. Right. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever it is. I don't know. What I mean. can't even get into stuff like that. That's why the park takeovers and stuff like that wasn't really, like, my lane. I never, like, yeah. really, like, started to push that because I'm more of just showing my talent, showing what I can do, hooping, helping people. And, yeah. But they're, they're fun in a sense. It's just not real basketball a lot of times. Yeah. So it's, like, not scripted, but they're just trying to get reactions out of people and this mm -hmm. and that. So it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like sometimes, we'll see, yeah, we'll see the clips like Ball is Life, East yeah. versus what you know, yeah. when they go here, they do. Most of them usually happen what is it in Glendale Hero Park or whatever. Yeah, that's the like go to park out here yeah. in Arizona for yeah, those park takeovers. My boy Vida, uh, I don't know if you've done a park takeover with him too. I uh, did a celebrity game. Okay. I saw you at the gym with him uh, on the YouTube channel too. I think Vida was watching. Or judging, he might have been a judge. Oh, yep, 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 they yep. had White Iverson out there, uh, <laughs> him and a couple other guys <laughs> rating the dunks. I seen a couple of your dunks and it was like nine. I'm like, what? What? No, I get to ten, man. East Bay <laughs> get to ten. East Bay over three people that's, and got a nine from Iverson. I, oh, I don't that's say why I got the man. nine, but uh, nah, come on, man. A East Bay over three. But that's a ten. That's a that's a twelve. Yeah, punched it too. Like, that's what I'm, it sounded like a gunshot. When oh it was man, like, you know. We ever get him on Some here. controversy. Like, hey, why did you give my boy Tony a nine out of Right? Two? I was very upset after that contest. But I learned how this, this kind of game goes yeah, and stuff like that. So that's why you make sure you get paid up front. Because mm. I didn't know at the time. So I showed up just, you know, doing what I could do. Oh, you didn't get paid? Uh-uh. <laughs> was the headline of Ball's Life. Was the only dunk they posted from that contest. The headline of like, the really? YouTube video. Man, or is it House of Highlights? Both uh, of them for sure. House of Highlights is good. Usually, right? Because I think um, when that whole Cam Wilder and Gio Wise beef was going on, they oh, were yeah. supposed to set up the one on one. That was House of Highlights. <laughs> was it House of Highlights? Mm -hmm. It was something like 50 and Gio, did, like, yeah. and Gio backed out. Gio didn't Highlights. get a COVID shot or something. Or yeah. he was trying to ask for extra money. Yeah. And something happened. And, and then they both House of Highlights was like, he was nah. win, lose, or draw. He yeah. was going to get paid. I would have, bro. And he, he was trying to get more. It's <laughs> because he knew, you, like he knew he was gonna lose, so he was like trying to get more money up front yeah. for the appearance fee mm. instead of it being a prize. Mm. And then yeah, they <laughs> weren't rocking with it. But that's crazy that a, a big name like Ball is Life or like House of Hype, where you know they got bread and they didn't pay up, unless whoever they paid didn't pay. This is once again money. when you learn when you start doing it. I tell my pupils, if you know your talents, please make sure you get paid. Unless like that event. I would kind of help, but like, if I didn't do it and went and did the same dunks by myself in the gym, put it up. I probably would have got the same amount of like reaction with everything. Mm -hmm. So just making sure you get paid when you do what you do. Obviously, certain events though, if you with NBA players, you got a connection, somebody you want to meet, 
Mm-hmm. Go yeah. do it. Go, you know, get your name out there. But, yeah. I like that, though, what, he, what Tony was touching on. Like, it's kind of like know your worth. Yeah. You can't mm-hmm. have likes be translated to your worth. You know what you can do. It's about getting there yeah. and just keep going. Like, keep don't going. pay the bills at the end of the day. No, yeah. yeah. Not at Not all. At all. <laughs> and, and I'm you still be homeless. After all. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, what you're doing, like, you probably had a lot of no's or a lot of people like, yo, you want to be, like, a professional dunker? Like, I'm sure you had people, like, in your ear, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. trying to, like, persuade you to go, like, a different route. But, like, what could you, what would you say to, like, those who want to, like, you know, step in your footsteps? Uh, my biggest thing is grow your social medias. I think one thing that helped me more than, like, Anything like, yes, I was talented, but on top of that, if people are going to pay to have you out, and like obviously there are going to be fans there, there's going to be people, they want to get the best promotion they can get for right. their dollar. Mm-hmm. So if you have 200K, 100K on TikTok, however many on Instagram, opposed to somebody that may be a little better than you, but they have 5K on TikTok, mm-hmm. they don't have as big of a fan base. So typically that so. person is going to, you know. Yeah. So it's really like, so really, social media is really like the new wave at this point, as far as like just growing. Definitely. <clears throat> you feel like um, throughout the content creation or whatever, do you, did you over have to overcome any obstacles, any hardships, going through that where you're like, man, I don't know where my life is going, or like I don't know how this works. It's all new to me. Like how how did you navigate through that? Honestly, the biz- biggest obstacle is probably just like sticking to it, like just making sure like. You may not see the results, but over time, like, you keep posting. Like, there was a point where I was posting, like, five, six, ten times a day. But it helped me grow a lot. And it was draining. It was tiring. Like, coming up with new ideas, like, it's a lot more to it than just, oh, let me go record a video. And just, like, actually putting in the time to that. A lot of people don't realize how much time goes into content creation. Every like I feel like people hate on influencers, YouTubers, and stuff like that. Because they're like, oh, how do they make this much money? Be-? But, like... Seeing the amount of time, people don't realize how much time goes into editing, how much time recording or retakes, whatever, <laughs> and then posting consistently, like on a schedule to keep up with all that stuff. Because the moment you kind of yeah. stop, the algorithm starts messing with you, True. and you start losing engagement, and all that, all that <clears> stuff <throat> matters, especially when you're trying to find partnerships, gigs, Definitely. all that good stuff. So it's it's crazy the fa- the amount of time that it takes. Like I saw, uh, I think Monte, you were showing me a text. You were like what your schedule was and you're like wake up boom oh yeah work out (laughs) content create edit 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 boom 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 and then just repeat Uh, my days vary it's not really like interesting but it's just but it's still a lot of work being put in whether it's tedious or whatever the work's got to get done yeah every single morning i wake up because usually i train from like 6 to 11 so at the time i usually go to a track club can work out in i'm lifting it's like 30 45 minute warm up do my lift finish with core I have any videos I want to film. I got to do that too, either during that or after. Then I go to another gym to go hoop, hoop workout in if I want to dunk, which I don't do too much right now because squats over. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I got an event, I'm trying to stay healthy. So it's a grind. But just once you <clears> get <throat> all those videos, I have probably like almost 30,000 pictures and videos on my phone. Damn. So just like going, unposted? No, nah, just, just total like in general. Videos. Yeah. So like just going through that every single day. You said six to eleven, like five hours. Yeah. So you got the five hundred gig iPhone. Yeah, he, he yeah for I sure. Had, I had to because <laughs> I got twenty five thousand about random stuff, and it's almost two fifty six on the dot. <laughs> I had the one twenty eight. Had the two fifty six. Going on up. It was always full. I was like, yeah, oh, if it's about that time at five twelve. Yeah, five twelve. Elevator up. Bing. I had to do it. <laughs> I gotta, uh, I gotta get in the gym with you, bro. As soon as rehab up, man, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to get in there so we can get this bounce right, man. Got you, I got you. Because I see you, you getting it in, so I'm, I'm trying to get it in too, man. I'm this trying to get like a, a 38. Give me a 38, bro. Nah, we can cool, get bro. you to a. Four. L- 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 listen, I'm gonna be working in the shadows. I got, I got into your yeah, videos now. <laughs> so I, I used to have a 40 inch standing vertical. My coach used to say, if I put my foot back, it scratch. It's like you can't do that jump, like, and I was like. And it was that thing, like someone challenges you. Yeah. I was upset. My coach, no, 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 no. No, this is, you know, because that's yeah. your habit. You want to put your foot back. Yeah. And you learn. I watch your videos. And when you take the steps going up to the hoop, that's all stuff that comes second eight. You don't think about it. Because mm-hmm. the moment you think, you're like, uh, you don't make the jump. Yeah. yeah I see people trying to, j- like, dunk at the gym or they're on the precipice of getting, and they're, like, slowing their steps or, like, you know, happy feet right before they take off. I'm like, 
Nah, man, I can't do none of that now. I'm five yeah. knee surgeries hey, deep. It's all good. I would, uh, he's got a couple seven footers. On yeah, his I've been a couple him. people that played overseas, <laughs> two hands. So I want to get back. I'm gonna start watching it. Let's go. Guys. Let's go. It. Come I'm on. It, in, in a red and they game got it or on whatever, in a league game. Uh, yeah, it's that, on that's tape. Hold it's on tape. Both oh, you know I'm there. So. I'm going to drop seven dunk again. One time in my life. That's my Let's goal. Go. Go. <laughs> Y'all already have all done it. I'm the only one left out. I feel like I need to leave the bunny club right now. <laughs> but um, what's out of any, like, basketball game or whatever you play, not like stage dunk where you're doing a, a fancy dunk, <laughs> what's the tallest person you've dunked over? Uh, I think, like, six. Six, I believe. Wait, before you get into that, uh, are you referring to that dunk that you had at the lab where you bounced it and you punched? Nah, he on was him? like, he was like six foot. Okay. I don't know why yeah. he jumped. Though. That <laughs> dunk went viral, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 he, he was trying that. to get on tape. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I'm not even gonna say his name because the kid that plays out here, I think he's either like six foot, five, six, six. I don't know how tall he is, but it was at uh, Desmond's uh, League Me Run. Yeah, okay, okay. It was in late night ones. Yeah. I was playing bad. It was like 4 a.m. It was just one of those days. Like, them runs used to be early, like yeah. early, early. I was like, I got a fast break, took off. He jumped with me, little one foot dunk. And I had like three viral dunks all in like three days in a row of hooping. It was that bounce one, <laughs> that one, and I dunked on another dude at the lab on a fast break. Yeah. yeah that was crazy. I, I can't even, well, I can't imagine to a certain degree, there was nothing better than blocking someone's dunk and dunking on somebody. Yeah. That is like it's so, bro. Nah, yeah, I agree. I can't relate, but I'm sure it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, you can. You play 2K. You know, get the little X. I'm cold like, ah, at 2K. I'll that's give you that. Facts. I average like what 4.3 steals a game. You feel me? My man got locked. He's a lock. I retired from 2K. He <laughs> retired. Hey, we on it every night. Huh? <laughs> I'll be um, mad. Quick questions before we uh, transition the topic real quick, but. Um, who would you say is your favorite athlete celebrity that you've met? Favorite that I've met. We are like, man, this dude is just super cool. Didn't expect it. And it was just. Dang. Dang. I got to think about that one. Who have I met? So I've met recently Chris Paul, Trevor Ariza, uh, Zion Luca. I like this one. <laughs> I meet in Paris. Get to me. Honestly, I probably say CP3. CP3. Yeah, he oh, yeah. was a cool dude. Got to talk to him because it was at the Jordan facility, the Flight Lab in uh, LA. Okay. And I turned left. We're like, they let us customize shirts and everything like that. I turned left. I'm like, is that Chris Paul? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> it's just casually like him standing here. Yeah. Like, it's just weird. And it's after the contest, I went up to him, took a picture with him. Told him good luck in the season and everything like that. Yeah. He was just super cool, like, chill, you know. Oh, yeah. Now you get that, like, cool vibe from somebody. He wasn't, like, rushed or nothing. Yeah. Or give you an attitude or anything like that. Oh, yeah. And then the second question would be out of anyone that you, who would you say the best hooper that, it doesn't even have to be big name or anything, best hooper you play with, whether it's a, it was in a league or a high school or in a rec. Best hooper I played with. You can drop a couple names in case. Yeah, it doesn't have to pressure. be the one. <laughs> you get messages after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So there's uh Twan. I got Twan. I know Twan. Twan's tough. He's he's tough. Is that the dude you were pointing out that was yeah, at the nice um man. sneaker con yeah, the other day? Yeah. Twan is nice. Yeah, Twan's tough. The shot making the just yeah. We ran once one day. Yeah. It definitely did get a little ugly. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I got one game. <laughs> Bro. It, it got ugly. He's in like just shots is just crazy. And then yeah, Jay Smooth. He's Another tough. one, played with him in a program. He was a point guard, so I, it made it very easy for me to just play. Yeah. But I like playing against him, guarding mm -hmm. him, everything like that. Like Crafty, too. Yeah. And, yeah, he's low-key strong, too. Just the – yeah, it's just crazy. Just go go check them out. Yeah. Twan man. and Jay Smooth is definitely two guards. They played in the uh, TBT. Well, uh, Jay Smooth played in TBT, man, and he, he was cooking, bro. <laughs> Yeah. He, he I'm gonna have crazy. to look him up because yeah. I Twan. I just heard about him after that day that you pointed him out. Twan yeah. had like 81 in one of the uh, the, the yeah. men's yeah. games yeah. at the lab. Yeah. Hey, shout out Kobe. Yeah, nah, Twan Mama. was good, man. I, I played against him as well, and yeah, bro, he uh, he be handsome, <laughs> different, fucking crazy shots, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it don't make no yeah. sense at all. So. All right, moving on the conversation, and then we'll be wrapping it up. Um, 
So obviously, if y'all were looking at the news, y'all saw the fight with uh, Draymond and Jordan Poole at the practice facility. So I want to hear y'all Ooh. takes on that. We all know how vocal Draymond <clears throat> is as a leader with the Warriors and, you know, how he is just vocal just on that team. Uh, do you, what, what do you guys feel like you feel like what he did was right? Because I'm, I'm going to let y'all talk first and then yeah. I'm going to tell you my opinion afterwards. But um, regardless of what Jordan Poole was saying, how could things have been handled? What is your reaction to it? Is it something that surprised you, doesn't surprise you? We'll go then, Tony. Let, let, let Tony answer Tony first. first? Yeah. All right, Tony, you up first. Uh, well, I don't <laughs> know what was said with uh, Jordan Poole, but nah, it's not okay at all. I don't think there's no circumstance, especially Draymond being like one of the vets on the team, one of the leaders, that being their young guy. Nah. And that punch, nah, it connected way too quick. <laughs> he could have at least punched him in the Boy, chest. Superman, though. Like, nah, he folded. Oh. I, uh, that, that team's done for. They someone got to go. Oh yeah, somebody gonna somebody gonna probably get tricked. Well, it won't be Jordan Poole, but the thing is, like their he contracts coming up. So Jordan is yeah. for the max, and then also Dre want to get paid too. But it's like Dre like about to be what 33, 34? Yeah, he's up there. But he's not really putting up, like, high stats. He's just that. Cal- he's supposed to be a glue guy, yeah, I thought. Yeah, that triple yeah. single. What has he got glued? <laughs> Bro, that's the thing. A lot of people hate on him, calling him Mr. Triple Single or whatever. But a lot of people that, you know, they're just looking at the stat sheet. Hooping is a lot more than just a stat yeah. sheet. What are you bringing to the team? What, uh, you know, the energy, defensive anchor. Intangibles. The, the passing, mm-hmm. uh, creating plays, even if he's not getting the assists off of those. People don't, for me personally... If I had to let one of them go, I'm letting Jordan Poole go. I don't know if y'all. Ooh. That's a tough one. Yeah, I don't know because yeah. uh, I think Dre has given mostly what he can. Like, that's his limit. You're looking at a young guy who was kind of combed and groomed by. Up and coming. Yeah. And now, if you know what I'm saying? It's a guard heavy league. If you got Draymond on a team without a guard, um, dang. I. So purely based on age. So if if you feel like uh, Draymond was younger, then would your answer be different or still? Yeah, the same? potentially. Yeah, yeah, I think so because I I think Poole has years to give. Anything could change. Yeah, of course, he's but, young. He's only. A couple but years talking now. about the punch, like Tony said, I've heard Richard Jefferson's hilarious when he talks about yeah. all his stuff, and he got all <laughs> the insight. All TikTok, yeah. yeah, and he said he's seen stuff happen. You know, people get into fights. He's gotten into fights. You know, we know. I mean, you think about the MJ. Yeah, Kerr. Steve Kerr. <laughs> and the yeah. thing is, as a guard on a team, when you're fighting for minutes or fighting for the acceptance of vets or playing time or a max, uh, there's a chip on your shoulder. You can imagine. Um, and then I don't know what he was saying. Sometimes if someone's saying something, uh, but, you know, Jordan also pushed him. Yeah. Right. If basketball players aren't fighters, but there's a rule if you're a boxer. We all heard it, right? Protect yourself at yeah. Yeah. all times. Mm-hmm. If you push somebody. Get snu- sucker punch or whatever it is. My yeah. dad told me that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The same. Yeah, you like, got to get too close. Yeah, it's keep them out of arms. Like, like, yeah. Not okay, though. And the thing is, a lot of people, I mean, me and you had this discussion not too long ago, but according to Damian Lillard's uh, interview that he had, Jordan Poole talks a lot of shit. I heard that. It, it's like, whether it's his own team or whatever, he was talking shit to... Uh, Dame in a game when he dropped Dame 60. is dropping sixty points and they got a dub. How do you how do you talk shit to someone that has sixty? I wouldn't even know what to say. Like, bro, you Good just game, bro. you shit on us the entire game and you got the dub and you still running it. I can't. Like, that's different. Yeah. In practice, though, me personally, especially like with my team, like especially my teammates, I talk shit a lot more to the people I'm cool with than mm. like. The opponent. So yeah. if it's in practice, I may be talking hella shit, but it's all love. At that yeah, it's, it's a push. It's not being so disrespectful not or anything yeah, like that. Like, so I don't, but, but we don't know what was said. So let I, me uh, ask you this: But if you, if one of your teammates they or uh, was dropping sixty points, you still gonna talk shit? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he said teammates say? on his. He's what like, man, you, you ain't all that. Sit down, like me. I seventy. <laughs> You, <laughs> you missed one shot. Said, you gonna, <laughs> I ran ones with Twan. He was hitting them shots. I'm gonna keep talking. You gotta, you gotta stay in it, bro. You gotta you get, stay. In that's it. a real trash talker. You gotta keep the energy there, that's no matter me. what. I feel, I feel like the only person it. I do that with is Tate, because <laughs> yeah. I be getting in Tate's head when we be hooping. Try it in my head. 
Can't let them know you just said. Yeah, I'm letting you know pushing. right now. The only way you can buy me, you quicker than me. So if you're taking it to who? I'm you jumping. I got you. Hey, once I get my balance, don't be under the rim, bro. Uh-oh. Hey, I'm hey. Hey, same. Right. I'm going to try and keep the balance at 240, though. <laughs> bro. But, I mean, with that Draymond, like, just off experience, like, playing, like, because those practices, they do get heated because everybody trying to, like, like, get paid and everyone, like, want to play and shit like that. But I feel like for Draymond, like, being who he is, because you got to think about it, like, he had the situation with Kevin Durant and mm. then this happened. So it's kind of like, it's like a bad look for him because they're like, Like, he's bro. the common denominator yeah, like, and all the problems. Yeah, fucking toxic yeah. at this point, man. You can't get along with anybody. So it's like, and that punch, bro, that shit didn't look good. Like, yeah. He, like, it wasn't it was just, Superman, like, pushing like, him back yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he kind of caught him, face. too. Like, he fell. Like, yeah, he dropped like this. Yeah, so it was like shit. It was like fighting a little kid, bro. Looking at that shit, like damn. What's bro. crazy is seeing the RDC world. Uh, what's oh, they made called? a video about that. Quick, oh, bro. Shit, gotta, it's so that quick. Up. Like I, that dude. Props to him because he be on that on those uh, videos so quick. quick. As soon as the event happens, it's already up, uploaded, scripted. Boom, they got the whole skit and uploaded. Man, oh, bad. he's hilarious. That Ooh. is hilarious. Wait, quick question. Um, that's kind of like off topic. As far as with the uh, content creators, uh, I have a question. You did you ever work with? Um, I think her name was was it Stephanie Shooter? The, the shooter. I think so. I think I played with her uh, Venice. Are you? T- it's like Stefania. Yeah. Oh, oh I think you're. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I played with her uh, Venice Beach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shoot my shot. Uh oh, <laughs> you're doing shot, it right bro. here. Yeah. Like, oh, right here like, what does it take? You heard it here. <laughs> take. <laughs> Stephanie, we gotta make that happen one on one. So you gotta say her name right though. I said it right. Uh, or Stefania. I think it's Stefania. Oh, Stefania. Yeah. Yeah. Stefania. I'm not too sure. Don't, don't quote me, but um, well, I'm oh sure. maybe we'll figure it out sure. once we sure. meet and greet. You know, hey, and just uh, click on my boy's uh, IG handle. We gonna we gonna get the upload inside in the DM. All right, Tony, man. Uh, y'all got anything to add before wrapping it up? Or? Hey, yeah, man, with your brand, man, uh, put all that out there, social media, so, you know, people can follow and continue oh, to support. Uh, it's legit. YouTube, TC2TV, got all the free workouts on there just to help out the people that don't have the money to buy the program because I was that kid when I was younger, just looking for Gotta information online, everything like that. So I was a Division One high jumper. I was also a personal trainer at one point, so I'm not just putting out whatever, and this is the actual workouts I do. Y'all be seeing gym vlogs, so it's not just bullshit. Like, I'm giving y'all real work for the free. Full workouts, core, everything you need. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Tony Crosby with uh, two Y's on the Crosby. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, what about sponsorships? Yeah, I know uh, you got that partnership with Body. Yeah. You got to give them all the yeah, shout outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Shout out about hey, pay him. Hey, pay him. <laughs> Whatever y'all are paying him already, pay him more. We need how, to increase. How, did, how did that come about, though? We didn't even get a chance to tap into that. Uh, honestly, with sponsorships, when I first started, I was just DMing like, as many people as I can. Same mm-hmm. thing I did when I was looking for a new school. Yeah. I emailed every Division One coach. Yeah. He, like I went on their yeah, website, went to hustle. email, hustle. had a co- copy and paste link, GPA, mm-hmm. stats, everything. I sent that to every single school. Same thing with like brands. If I think of a brand, cool, I'm about to go DM them, I'm about mm-hmm. to... They'll either send you to like uh they have like a partner like link usually. Mm. Or like someone that handles that on their side. So you email them, send them the same thing and they just go from there. And then are they going based off like your like your following before they when they make a decision? Uh typically, yeah. Okay. Cuz it's more so like and we don't have to get too deep into it, but I'm I'm sure it's more so like okay, um Obviously, like we know, like who you are as a person, but like how are you benefiting our brand as well? Yeah, so that makes that makes just sense. how your content relates, mm-hmm. just everything like that. Honestly, no, that's dope, man. That's I don't know, cool. being a supreme jumper that relates. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. I'm drinking a body armor too, so slide me a few free cases. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony, man, I really appreciate you coming in. Of course, you know, of course. I know you're a busy person. Uh, even though you say you say you don't do too much, but to that grind, right all this. that stuff adds up. <laughs> So uh, definitely appreciate you having uh, being on with us. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, man. what y'all got to add before we got to wrap it up? Follow the page. Uh, insert. We don't have the username. Uh, everybody. Yes. Omar. What's your IG? At the real Doctor Phoenix. 
I'm not saying yours because you said some, some weird <laughs> shit last night, man. <laughs> no, I didn't change it. I didn't change it. I'm not changing the cute poppy. Should I'm we say what he was gonna uh, make his <laughs> IG name last night? I already <laughs> forgot. Yeah, I, I, I nah, nah, it's cool. Yeah, Q, you're cool. supposed to be the controversial one. Yeah, I didn't hear well. nothing controversial from you. I don't, you know what? You know what? I didn't have anything because you're supposed to be the Stephen A. Smith. Because, <laughs> you can't sit here and tell me no. <laughs> at, no, at 13, at 12, I was like, I need to get my vertical up. I need to get my and I went through like jump soles. Remember yeah. those air alert programs? Um, you know, I was doing calf raises inside. I'm like, I got to go jump. Yep. And I did raise it in high school. I was already like 30 is pretty good for an average person, yeah. you know, and I raised it 10 inches, I think about in a year and a half. And then I blew my ACL, MCL, medial meniscus Jeez. on my jumping knee. Jeez. And then a few other things after that. But I'm still here. Still not jumping. Alive. Yeah, still, still hooping a little bit. Well, we like the people that say bye, but just keep on walking there in the parking lot towards the same direction. Hey, man, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Me and the game will, will always be. Yeah. If it's in you, it's in you. Fair. Yeah. If you can't do it, you teach it. Or you do both. Right. So look up his workouts. They're for free. Come on, man. Yeah, not a lot of people, especially in the influencer world and stuff, are willing to give all that for free. So that's his way of giving back. So mm. special shout out to that. You know, you Absolutely. always want to give back to the community and, you know, remember where you came from and uh, remembering how you had to overcome the stuff that you had to do in order to get to where you are. Definitely. I do have one last question. Actually, two. I got one. I got one. Okay. <laughs> All right, bet. We have time. So my question is this. You know, some days you walk into the gym and you or a gym and you look at the rim. Do you ever have those days where the rim looks a little higher and a little lower? Yeah. You have those. So I used to have those days. I'm like, is this, you know, that's weird. Oh, my God, it looks so high. <laughs> and I found out the other day that it's actually a response to how your legs and your body are feeling yeah, at the time. I've seen that, too. Is it uh, PJ? PJ Perfor Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Funny. Dude, I love watching his stuff, man. I love it. So I thought about that. And then it's a conjoined question. Sorry, oh, sorry Tay. <laughs> um, two is when you dunk so much, it takes energy from you. So do you feel like throughout the week, because you stay heavy in the gym, lifting, working out, track, and then dunking. Like, one of your stories, nonchalantly, he was like, I don't know if you guys picked up. He's like, we played, and after hooping, I was like, hey, let's do that. I'm like, what? Like, dang, you know, that's that's a lot of, do you ever have, what do you do to kind of refill the battery? Is it just rest and time off? Uh, lots of water. I'm usually very hungry. All Body armor? So, uh, yeah, body armor, lots of water. <laughs> uh, very hungry, usually. When I was at GCU working out, I used to go get 24 nuggets, large fry, and a large shake, or I just drink water if I didn't want to shake that day. But I would either get grilled or like uh, the regular nuggets. Like I was always eating a lot. From where though? At McDonald's? Nah, Chick fil A. Okay, Chick -fil -A. Oh, yeah. As soon as you yeah. said grilled, I said, yeah. yeah. So That's I'm where he's not going to lie. I don't do McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Taco Bell. I don't so you actually watch typical. what you eat? Do you count your macros and everything? I don't count none, but like my diet's right. mainly like chicken and seafood. Like you won't catch me like the crazy. Shrimp, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> I mess with the shrimp. The shrimp is blessing. <laughs> what about uh, carbs? Because I feel like carbs, you need that energy, or do you try and keep that? I burn a, a lot of calories in a day, so I don't really like. Like, I just make sure I don't eat nothing crazy. Like, you're not going to see me with, like, eating a cake or something. Like, a big cake at night or something like that. You'll see him, though. <laughs> <laughs> just stuff like that. Hey, don't be putting me on like, the spot, brother. Say, hey, this episode ain't about me. Every <laughs> we, now and then. It's about yeah. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, just pretty I simple. I got the stuff. biggest sweet tooth, which is, uh, you know, an oxymoron because I'm a dentist. dentist. So I'm, supposed <laughs> be, I'm supposed to be advising people when I am. like, hey, exactly. you, you can't even just brush your but, teeth out. <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny because that just goes back to, like, with uh, Chad Johnson. He was speaking on, like, the McDonald's. Like, he yeah. brought, hey, whatever the fuck I want yeah. and had a success. Because he was career. burning so many calories. And Brandon Marshall was, like, they were, like, doing a comparison. And you... You saying Chick Fil A? You know what I'm saying like so. That just goes to show, man. It's like you need that Chick Fil A sponsor, though. Hold on. Hey, Chick, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A. Y'all hey, hey, know hey, what to do. Insert, or raising insert canes. Insert Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, that'd be sick. Chick Fil A for thing. life. That would be sick. That would be tough. Man. Yeah, that would be hell tough. Hey, I'm gonna need like that's the spot. I just started, at least uh, one meal a month or something. If you get the spicy tenders, I just started trying those. Those is good too. I haven't had them. Spicy tenders. Uh, who? What? Um. What guests would you like to see on this show that you think will fit? What guests? Huh? Let's see. Let's see. That we can like probably reach out to type shit. That means if you have a here? referral. 
this out here or like uh, anywhere? Shit, anywhere, man. We shit, we'll fucking travel. I feel like there's so many people. Actually, I've got a guy. Who? YPK Ray. Mm. I don't know if y'all know who that is. Y'all heard of him? Mm. He's got like four million on TikTok. He's another. Uh, he's like five eight, super athletic dude. He hoops. Mm. He does more like the skit stuff on TikTok. Yeah. But he's got some big things coming up. He told me I'm not gonna spill what he he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. Kid. But he's playing in the uh, House of Highlights thing right now too. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's okay. Guy. Wow. Talk to him about. Wow. Okay, Ray. Yep. Yep. Looking Definitely right a cool dude. Someone I talked to. Yeah, we're going to look him up now. We, we, we'll know him now. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. We found him. We or found him. Uh, Ryan the Crash Dummy. If you want a funny interview. I think I haven't heard of him. Yeah. Ryan Crash Dummy? Yeah. Ryan's a, Ryan's a funny guy. Yeah. He's not conventional at all. Hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love that. <laughs> we love it. We need that. You, you guys hear that? We're going to be reaching out. We're going to be reaching out. I sure. can let them know, too, for sure. I'll see Hell what yeah, they say. I know they'll be on the move and stuff like that. But. Hell, yeah. We, we definitely try to work on our guest schedule, man. So, yeah, we can definitely make that happen. Yeah, we'll wrap it up from there, man. Hey, thank you again, bro. Of course, of course. You got a busy shit. You got a game tomorrow. Uh, oh, yes, get sir. us out of here, man. Yeah, let's you. go. It's a wrap. We done. Wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs>